What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Cut through sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. This is for November 7th or November 14th of 2022. <clears throat> this can resonate if you have Capricorn in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. And as always, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Love you guys so much. Okay, so this is for Caps. I got two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy. And I heard a stable relationship was the first one. And the second one I heard working on a house. So you plug the message or messages in, how they resonate and apply for you. I feel like that could be you in a stable relationship or somebody you're connected to in a stable relationship. And you working on a house or somebody you're connected to working on a house. I feel renovations or something of that nature or redecorating or something like that. Renovations, redecorating, moving, decluttering, something of that nature. Okay. How that resonates and applies. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. It helps to get around in a very positive manner to people that do not know about my channel and you think they would enjoy it. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Spirit messages here for Flippy. For Sonic Caps. For one, someone's about to need your help soon. And for one, you're about to need somebody else's help. Okay, so you plug in and help. Resonates Capricorn. For one of you guys, you're about to need somebody's help. And for one of you guys, somebody's about to need your help. So it hasn't happened yet, it sounds like. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. So you have to plug it in however it resonates for you. For one of you guys, you're going to need somebody else's help. So I feel you're going to reach out to them. For one, somebody's going to need your help. I feel they're going to reach out to you. Spirit message is here. Camel, butterfly. For some, you can be dealing with another earth sign or air sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are. A custody change that was done strictly for money has flopped into the ground and will continue to flop into the ground through many series of chain of events. Justice is about to be had. The scales are about to be balanced and it's about to, it's about to re-switch. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. A custody change that was done strictly for money, I heard. So, how this resonates and applies, it could have been um, your, it could have been your situation or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of custody change that was done strictly for money, I heard. Strictly for money. I heard it is flopped. It is flopped, and so I'm assuming it was confirmation for my kitty. I heard it was done strictly for money, so, <clears throat> and I heard it flopped. So, whatever reason it was done for money, apparently it was, it's not making money or, or the money is not coming in the way people thought it would. And some kind of custody change. Um, but I heard uh, soon the scales are about to be balanced and the custody is about to switch back. So I feel for some you could work in the legal team or legal sector and help this custody change come back. For um, balance out, scales adjust its balance out. Because, I mean, you have the scales card, just saying. Um, or... This could be your your custody battle we're talking about, or somebody you're connected to's custody battle, or you can know somebody that's going through this, where they're they're about to it sounds like they're about to get their kids back, um, get our kids back because some kind of custody change was done strictly for money. Politicians' careers are tanking; and they will continue to tank until this is evened out. 
Okay, I heard politicians' careers are tanking, and they will continue to tank until this is evened out. And lawyers, and lawyers. Politicians and lawyers' careers are tanking, and I heard they will continue to tank until this is evened out. So, like I said, this could be your custody battle or somebody you're connected to's custody battle. But somebody had, it sounds like, had their kid or kids taken away strictly for money reasons and um, greed. And basically, a lot of lawyers and politicians were involved with it because of money and greed. But it's about to be balanced out through many series of chain events. So you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. We have harmony. Fair, danger, especially in money matters. Scales, keep your life in balance. Eagle, triumph over tr troubles and obstacles. Camel. Whoever these people are that did this, they were using kids as pawns. And that's not cool. That's some greedy, selfish-ass energy. And I heard politicians and lawyers were heavily involved in this. But they're getting negative karma in the form of their businesses going down or their career or reputation going down. Camel? Permanently moving to a new unit. One, you work in a hospital. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So one of you guys, you work in a hospital and you're permanently moving to a new unit. So whoever, I mean, whatever occupation that is, but it sounds like you're on one unit now or units, but... Soon, through many series of chain of events, you're about to permanently move to another unit. You work in a hospital, if that resonates for you, harmony there. Our earth sign could be involved. I strongly feel earth sign is involved because we have the camel card. So I strongly feel you're dealing with another earth sign. Definitely dealing with another earth sign. Okay, that's confirmation. You're definitely dealing with another earth sign. So... You're definitely dealing with another earth sign in Taurus Capricorn Virgo that's about to make this happen for you. Um, person that's about to permanently move to a new unit that works in a hospital. Um, I feel the Taurus Capricorn Virgo could be your, be your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or somebody above you that's about to pull some strings and make this happen. It's going to create harmony. You work in a hospital, if that resonates for you. About to find out a Taurus is pregnant. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You never thought this person could have any more children, but they're about to be pregnant, and it's about to be your kid. Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, well, this is your Taurus. Um, This is your Taurus, your Earth sign. Okay, so one of you guys, you're either, either in a relationship with the Taurus, or you're... You're either in a relationship with the Taurus or you're sexually connected with the Taurus. How that resonates. We all know there's different levels to this shit. Sneaky links, situationships, committed relationships, fiancés, married spouses. Um, you're either in a relationship with this Taurus or you're sexually connected to them. I heard you never, you thought they could not have any more children. Um, so it's a Taurus femme. Um, but through many series of chain events, you're about to find out she's pregnant. And I heard it is your kid. If that resonates for you. I feel you're obviously a Capricorn masculine if this resonates for you. So this is your Taurus fam with the baby bump. I mean, we got a camel hump here, but she's baby bumping. Just saying, just saying. For some, this could cause harmony. I heard you never thought she could have any more kids. So uh, I think she might have some kind of sexual um, women's health issues. Or she's just older and you thought she maybe she was going through premenopause or menopause or something or you thought she was on the depo shot or uh, birth control or something but surprise you're about to find out she's pregnant that's for one of you guys holy crap you're a caps masculine someone about to go on vacation is very significant to a capricorn 
Egypt, the mountains, and a beach. Someone about to go on vacation is about to come very significant to a Capricorn. Egypt, the mountains, and, and the beach. So, um, I don't feel it's you, Capricorn. I think it's somebody else um, that's about to go on vacation. Either to Egypt, the mountains, or the beach. How that resonates and applies. I think it's going to cause harmony in their life. I think you're going to hear about it. You might see vacation pics. You might see the bikini um, or the uh, uh, swim trunks. Um, if they're going to the beach, well, we're in November. We're in November. They're going to the beach in November? Holy crap. Well, they might be on the other side of the world. On the other side of the world, it's sunny um, and warm. So I don't know. I heard Egypt, the beach, and mountains. So, but it's not you, it's somebody else. So I feel you're about to see vacation pics and fun pics and pics of somebody going to the be um, vacation, either whether it's Egypt, mountains, or beach. Take me in your suitcase. Butterfly. Soon a tiny home and a new shed is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. Soon a tiny home and a new shed is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. So for some, you could be purchasing the tiny home or the new shed. Or you can know somebody that's spreading their wings like the butterfly here and purchasing a tiny home and a new shed. How that resonates and applies, tiny home and new shed energy. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. I think it's going to create uh, harmony if it's you, the one um, purchasing the shed or the tiny home or somebody else. Bain, uh, bear, danger, especially in money matters. For one, saving money is very important. For one, saving money is very important. So for one of you guys, saving money is very important. And for one, your credit score is terrible. Working on getting out of the hole. Okay, so for one of you guys, saving uh, money is very important. So saving your money at this time um, is very important. So budgeting. And for one, you have a terrible credit score. And I heard um, getting out... It sounds like you're about to start digging yourself out of the hole, the financial hole there with the credit score, the bad credit score. I didn't hear specifically what the bad credit score is, like the number, but I'm presuming probably 400s, 500s, or maybe 600s. Bad credit score. You plug it in how it resonates. And a chapter 13 bankruptcy is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. For one, in your father's life. For one of you guys, a Chapter 13 bankruptcy is about to become very significant in your life, for one of you, and for one in your father's life. So your father, whether it's a stepfather, a biological father, or somebody you call father, some kind of father energy. Um, for some, it's your father. For some, it's your you. So you play in how it resonates, Chapter 13. Scales, keep your life in balance. Someone's about to get kicked out soon. For one, it's a Capricorn. For one, you are kicking this person out. Oh, whoa. So, okay. So, for one of you guys, you're about to get kicked out. And for one, you're about to kick somebody out. So, whoever you are, I think you rent or you have a mortgage on a space somewhere. Whether you rent or have a mortgage. For one, you're going to kick the person out. So, bad roommate energy or bad partner energy or what have you, what have you. For one, you're about to be kicked out. So, you know, you have to plug it in how it resonates. But either way, I think it's about to create harmony. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Keep your life in balance, whether you're the one having to 
um, step up and be the one to kick the person or people out, whether it's a partner or a bad roommate or what have you, what have you, or you're the one about to get kicked out. But if you're the one about to get, get, get kicked out, I'm sure there's probably a huge ass reason. So just saying, just saying. I mean, I didn't hear specifics on this. Spirit only gives what spirit only wants to give, but I'm sure there's a big reason. And that's just the truth. So keep your life in balance, moving forward, moving on, and just keep going. Like, don't give up, you know? Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. A Capricorn is about to finally tell the truth to a feminine energy. Finally. They have had so much chaos in their life because they have kept it in, but they're about to do it. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. A fire sign feminine. A fire sign feminine. Okay, so if this resonates for you, Capricorn, you, I feel you mean masculine feminine. Capricorn, have caps any aspects of your cards. I heard you're about to finally tell the truth to a fire sign femme. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Femme. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 Haven, or Jupiter charts. But I heard you're about to finally tell the truth to whoever this fire sign Femme is and how they resonate in your life. I heard you've had a lot of chaos in your life because you have strategically held it back from her, held the truth back from her. And, um, but you're, it, it sounds like you have recognized that's why you're having chaos in your life. So that's why you're about to tell her the truth. You haven't told her the truth yet. But I think you want harmony and peace in your life. And I think you recognize that your karma bank is filled up because you have strategically held back some serious truth from her. She's very high vibrational. And that's why this is occurring. And you know this. Okay, I heard she's very... So this fire sign fib is very high vibrational. She treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Now, I don't know if you're high vibrational or low vibrational, but I'm presuming probably low vibrational because you're not telling the truth and you were strategically withholding information. So low vibrational is you don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, values. So you were withholding the truth strategically. So I'm presuming you're on the low vibrational end if that resonates for you. You were strategically holding back from her, but I heard she's high vibrational and that's why you're basically incurring all this chaos and craziness because you know she's highly high vibrational. Other people know she's high vibrational, and that's why all this chaos is occurring, because you didn't do the right thing. But it sounds like you want harmony and peace, and that's why you're about to tell the truth to her. For some, I think the negative karma could have hit you if that resonates for you in the money department, possibly, or other ways. But you're getting the negative karma now because you refused to do the right thing in the past to tell the truth. Whoever you are. Only you know your situation, story, not anybody else. But whoever you are, I heard you're about to tell her soon. I think to balance the karmic scales. To give you some peace and harmony. I think you're going to triumph over trouble and obstacles by telling her the truth. She will appreciate the truth, but it's not going to change things between you and her. Know this. Okay, I heard she's going to appreciate the truth, but it's not going to change things between you and her. Know this. So whoever you are, Capricorn, this uh, high vibrational Aries Leo Sag femme, I heard she's going to, when you haven't told her the truth yet, because you strategically withheld information from her in the past, but I heard once you do, she's going to appreciate the truth, but just know once you tell her the truth, it's not going to change things between you and her. Um, so whatever the status is between you and her. So you're going to triumph over troubles and obstacles by telling her the truth because you strategically withheld information in the past. An older Capricorn feminine, 40 and above, is about to find out her daughter is in an incest relationship with the stepfather. Oh my God Almighty. A Capricorn fem, 40 and above, is about to find out her daughter. So if this resonates for you, you're a Capricorn feminine, 40 and above, and you have a daughter. Now that could be a biological daughter, foster daughter, or somebody you call a daughter. How that resonates, it applies, Capricorn, 40 and above, but you're about to find out your daughter, 
whether she's biological, foster, what have you, what have you. She's in an ancestral relationship with the stepfather. I just don't even know what to say about that. I'm highly against pedophiles and incest. That's disgusting. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. Because it's about to go very public. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you because it's about to go very public is what I heard. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. So sorry for whoever that's for. That's terrible. A Capricorn model is trying to book gigs. But no, there's a water sign masculine that's intentionally holding you back. He doesn't want you in the public eye. You were sexually connected to him. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So one of you guys, you're a model. Your model. Um, younger Capricorn feminine. You're a younger Capricorn fam, I heard. So you're younger. Um, congratulations, um, younger Capricorn fam, whoever you are, ma'am. I feel you can be 35, 34 below. You're a Capricorn model. Um, I heard you're trying to book gigs. So you're trying to get work, basically. You're trying to get work and um, booking gigs. So trying to put your work out there. Your, uh, I'm sure you're modeling photos or what have you, what have you. I mean, I'm not a model. I don't desire to be a model, but... I don't judge models, but I'm presuming that's what you're doing. Um, but I heard, just know, there's some kind of water sign masculine you're sexually connected to. I heard you're younger and you're a Capricorn femme. I feel you're 35, 34 or below, however that resonates. But you're sexually connected to a water sign masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio masculine. But I heard he's intentionally holding you back because he doesn't want you in the public eye. So just know that, ma'am, if that resonates for you and you've been trying, trying, and trying, reaching out to the agency, putting your modeling portfolio out there, been reaching, reaching, reaching out, contacting, 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 trying to get your um, sessions booked and they're falling through. It's not you. It's a water sign masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Scorpio, heavy Scorpio, heavy Scorpio. So it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio masculine, younger younger he's a younger cancer pisces scorpio masculine 35 34 below but with two or two plus placements of scorpio just know it's him he has a lot of connections and he is he has been blocking this for a while he has a lot of connections and he's been blocking this for a while ma'am this is for you model Cap younger capricorn model 35 34 below he has a lot of connections. He doesn't want you in public eye. You were sexually connected to him. He doesn't want you to be famous. He doesn't want you to be well known. It sounds like he's a sexist. He sounds like a sexist, honestly. And he's very controlling and domineering. That's what it sounds like to me. If it was me, I would cut off sex with this dude. I'd cut off sex with him to teach him to leave your career alone and to leave you alone. And if he doesn't treat you right, then um, you won't give him any sex, any nookie, any fun time. And leave your fucking career alone. He's doing it through all your connects. All the people you're connecting. Because he knows these people. Whether you know they know he does or not. You might know he does. But he's blocking you behind the scenes. Because he knows all these people. If I was you, you could take the advice or leave it. But if I was you, I'd cut off the sex. And I would cut him off. Period. I'd quit communicating with him. I'd break up with him. I'd quit the sneaky link, situationship, whatever you have going on there. Or the relationship. Until he learns to treat you better and get your career on the right track. That, of course, you could take the advice or leave it. Okay? You're a younger Capricorn fam, because that's not right. That's not right. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious, ma'am. That's what I would do. But, of course, you could take the advice or leave it, okay? But just know, if you're in that situation and you are sexually connected to a water sign masculine, younger water sign masculine with heavy Scorpio placements, and you know this is your situation, He's doing it. He knows these people and he's strategically blocking your career. So taking this information, if I was you, I'd take it 
I'd break up with his ass, I'd cut the sex off, and I'd let him fend for his fucking self in the relationship and sex department and get your career online until he learns to treat you better. You can take the advice or leave it, okay? But triumph over trouble and obstacles in this aspect is, um, in my opinion, would be cutting this water sign masculine off with heavy Scorpio placements, younger Scorpio masculine, so he learns to treat you better because he's blocking your modeling opportunities and your modeling gigs secretly behind the scenes trying to control and manipulate and domineer the situation. A Capricorn feminine, younger Capricorn feminine for many series of chain events is about to really, really, really pay it forward to a fire sign feminine. Okay, I heard a younger Capricorn feminine for many series of chain events is about to really pay it forward to a fire sign fem. How about racial uh, fire sign fem? How about racial fire sign fem? So, Whoever, younger Capricorn Fem energy strong in here. So if this if that message resonates for you, you're a younger Capricorn Feminine too. Uh, 35, 34 below. Have caps any aspects of your charts. I heard through many series of chain of venture about to pay it forward to a younger. Uh, I'm not a younger. I'm sorry. A high vibrational fire sign Fem. So she can be any age. Aries, Leo, Sag, Fem. But she treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I think that could be triumph over trouble and obstacles. Maybe you've been wanting to pay it forward to her for a while and you're about to fly your wings and do it, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. I think it's going to create harmony. But for that one Capricorn, younger Capricorn fam where this jealous ass sexist dude that you've been sexually connected to, whether you're in a relationship with him or not, I would cut the sex off in New York minute. And, and if you were in a relationship, I'd break up with his ass. Teach his ass a lesson, in my opinion. You can take the advice or leave it. That pisses me off. Harmony. A Capricorn is about to get a new co-worker. An assistant. And for one, they're going to be a co-worker on your unit. Okay, for one, you're about to get a co-worker, an assistant. And for one, they work on your unit. Hospital, hospital. So for one, you're about to get a new co-worker in a hospital on your hospital unit, heavy hospital unit energy in here for one. For one, you're about to get a new assistant. Um, you're an administrator. You're an administrator. For one, you're an administrator and you're about to get an assistant. So that's going to create harmony and balance. So I feel you can be master fem Capricorn, but you're an administrator. So administrative, like high level um, energy. You're an administrator. I feel an administrator over probably a skilled nursing facility or assisted living facility or an administrator over some major project or department or something of that nature. And you're about to get an assistant. I think it's going to create harmony and balance to help balance the scales and uh, create balance here uh, because the workload is so heavy is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates um, Capricorn. And for one... You're about to get a new co-worker in a hospital unit. And I think that's going to create harmony and balance. You plug in how it resonates. Someone is about to end up ill again from a potluck at work. The potlucks are about to be cut off permanently. Someone needs to hear this. Oh my God. Okay. So, okay. So somebody's in a workplace situation, a work, um, how this resonates and applies. You work in a workplace dynamic. Somehow potlucks are involved, whether you bring the potlucks and you organize the potlucks or you cook a dish for the potlucks or you just eat at the pot potlucks or you hear about somebody that's having potlucks in a workplace dynamic. There's some kind of potluck dynamic, um, potluck, <laughs> potluck dynamic in a workplace. Um, so, okay, so 
Somebody's about to get very ill from a potluck. So like food poisoning is what I'm presuming. This is not the first time this has happened. This is not the first time it's happened. So it's not the first time it's happened that somebody's got very ill at this potluck. I'm presuming in this workplace dynamic, wherever I'm talking about in the universe. But Earth, through many series of time events, it sounds like this is not the first time it's happened. Two or two plus times. Somebody's about to get ill again. I heard this time they're about to get cut off permanently. Somebody needs to hear this. So I think you participate in these potlucks or you organize these potlucks or you cook dishes for these potlucks or you eat at these potlucks or you're about to get ill at the potluck. But somebody needs to hear that they're about to get cut off because this is not the first time somebody's got ill at these potlucks. It's going to balance the scales. It's going to be a triumph over a troubled obstacle. It's going to create harmony. Quit getting people ill. I'm assuming they can bring their own lunches or eat at the cafeteria, if there is a cafeteria, or what have you, what have you. Because um, that's lawsuit energy right there. And that's just the truth. Somebody gets somebody ill from damn food poisoning. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen if you might need to hear that. A cancer is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. For one, they are HR. For one, they're an investigator. For one, they're police. A cancer is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. For one, they are HR, so human resources. For one, they're an investigator, so I feel that could be public investigator, private investigator, or fed, possibly, however that resonates and applies. Um, some kind of investigator energy. And one, they are police. So you have to plug it in however it resonates and applies in your own life. Can, um, Capricorn. Cancer energy strong, whether they are police, an investigator, or H, uh, HR, human resources. I feel this can go positive or negative. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates and applies, it depends on which side you're going to be on on this. With the police, the human resources person, or people, and the, um, and um, what's the, and the investigator. I think it's going to create some harmony here, however that resonates and applies, okay? All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Rainbows are about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. And jewelry. Rainbows and jewelry is about to become very significant, oh, significant in Capricorn's life. Rainbows and jewelry. So you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. Rainbows and jewelry. All right, I love you guys so much and namaste.